I live at Denton, Texas, 76208. Can I see your ID, sir? Are you refusing to give me ID? I'm not refusing to ID Well, you have it, sir. I need to see your ID issued by the state of Texas. My name is... So you're refusing, sir? I live at Denton, Texas, 76208. So you're refusing to give your ID? I'm not currently committing a crime. I would you like to go along my way. You're on college campus. We are campus police officers. I by understand. Education code, we're telling you, you need to ID yourself by a state-issued identification card. Failing that is a Class B misdemeanor by Texas Penal Code, failure to ID to peace officer, which is an arrest-only offense. If I'm suspected of committing a crime, no, sir. No, sir. College the crime people. is failure to ID. But I'm not obligated to identify myself. Yes, you are. Under the, under the state law and under education code, you are required by law to show your Texas driver's license or Texas-issued ID or other type of government ID. I can Otherwise, verbally... Otherwise, that in itself is a crime when you refuse. I can verbally identify no, myself. No, sir, you cannot. To you. No, sir, you cannot. We're you need something with your picture on this issued by the state. That's I do, but I am not. I'm not obligated to show it. Yes, sir. To, under to the show law, it. you are. You to you. Show it, or you go to jail. It's very simple. This was a very simple matter. We were going to discuss a simple issue of a verbal complaint, and send you on your way. You're making quite literally a mountain out of a molehill. Am I free to go? No, you're not. Not until you identify yourself. Please My name is. I live at. Denton, Texas, 76208. I want a state-issued ID card that has your picture on it. I'm not even driving right now. And you won't be unless you show a state-issued ID card, sir. I'm just on foot. This is your vehicle? Am I free to go? No, you're not. Am I being detained? Yes, you are. Yes. And you will be arrested if you don't show an identification card with it. It has your picture on it, and it's issued by the state of Texas. My name is Mike. I live at Denton, Texas, 76208. What are you reaching for, sir? I'm simply reaching for my ID that you have requested. Thank you. Okay. I'd appreciate it. Frankly, I don't believe I'm required to identify myself. You're welcome to look it up when you get home, sir. I would say this. I simply believe you two are misinformed as to the law. Well, we're both trained by the state of Texas to know the laws. I understand. Are you, are, do you know the law? I do know the law, and well, I do not believe I'm sir. obligated to identify you myself believe, to you. You but you don't know. We do know. Am I free to go? No, sir, you're not. Nineteen. What was the argument about with the, the guy in the clubhouse? Am I free to go? No, I'm just asking you a question. She'll, she'll release please. you when it's time. What was the argument about with the guy DL in the clubhouse? One four four. Did you get into an argument with the guy in the clubhouse? Eighty. Out of Texas. Am I free to go? Not yet. No. And that answer will continue to be no until we are done with what we need to do to investigate the situation as to why we were called. Do you have any idea why he called? I haven't talked to the guy. Why did he call? Uh, profanity and yelling at him is what he briefly told me. that we're on private property you've been id we're here investigating a very simple verbal disturbance no crimes have been alleged but since we're on private property a campus we're obligated to come check it out since it's 
also falls under education code, we're also obligated to ID you. She's fixing to return your ID to you, and we're fixing to get out of here. But as you can see, what took us about 10 minutes could have easily been solved in about a minute and a half. Do you understand that? Am I free to go? When she hands you your ID back and she sells you, you're free to go. You are you a frequent patron of the golf course, sir? Do you like? Would you like to continue to have that privilege? Am I free to go? Would you like to continue to have the privilege to use this golf course, sir? Am I free to go? Not until she says you're free to go. Would you like to continue to have the privilege to use this golf course? Because it is a privilege, not a right. Would you like to continue to have the privilege to use this course? Am I being detained? Yes, you are being detained. Under we've, suspicion we've, I've committed what crime? We've clearly, we've clearly answered all of your questions. I've got one question left for you before she releases you. Under suspicion that I've committed what crime? No crime. But So am I free to go? Not yet. Not yet. I've made that abundantly clear. If I'm not, not under suspicion. I'm telling you, sir, that you're not understanding because you've asked me the same question seven times now. I'm counting, okay? If I'm not under suspicion that I've committed a crime, then you have no legal basis of detaining me. I do, but under education code because we have a complaint from a university employee that said that you got rude. This is private property, okay? So what crime so have, have I been suspected of committing? It's fixing to be criminal trespass if you don't answer my question and stop all your questions. Well, Which I'd like to be able to leave. You will be able to leave and you will not be allowed to return if you don't answer my simple question. Would you like to continue to have the privilege to use this golf course in the future? Am I free to go? No. I guess he doesn't want to use the golf course anymore. What was your name, uh, Supervisor? Your I'm name? Officer Collins. And your badge number? 252. And you, ma'am? Officer Baguette, 190. Thank you. Am I free to go? Yes, you are. If we're called again, sir, you will be criminally trespassed from the golf course for an entire year. Do you understand? If that happens and you return and violate the criminal trespass order, which is not in effect yet, okay, this is a future thing, if this happens again, then you will be arrested for the crime of criminal trespass criminal trespass, and that is a crime, as well as failure to identify to a peace officer when you're on a college campus for education code. So you probably owe yourself a little bit of an education, okay? So I am, I am free to go. Now you are free to go, yes. You all have a good day. You as well.